Start a bit, start a bit, run. Reading comics, twists are hella sick. Start a bit. Son! Here at the San Jose Toy Show. Yeah, where a bunch of people are buying stupid plastic toys. And I don't understand why anybody's doing anything like that, especially because you know, most of them are all trash and garbage. And then there's this booth over here. They got a bunch of uh, Star Wars figures. Nobody, hey, screw you, I'm not stuck up. I'm just opinionated. Yeah, then there's uh, some Marvel Legends over there. They're kind of neat. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't buy any of them because they're all trash. And then there's the other guy back there who kind of looks like starting his prime a little bit. <laughs> and then there's these comic books over here. If you want to be a true collector, you'll collect comic books and not toys. Toys are for losers. And you can see right here, they got all these, these uh, Marvel Legends toys, that comic and figure addicts. I don't buy any of them. I think buying toys for losers. And yeah, people shouldn't be selling toys either. Have you ever questioned your conscience? Nope. Have you ever questioned your conscience? Nope. This guy has too many pins. Only losers wear pins I like, like my that. Pins. Hey, don't make fun of me. It's a speech impediment, okay? Jerk. God, you hurt someone's feelings one day. Yeah, you think he's awesome because he has pins. Yeah, he's just a dork. Yeah, but all these. All these toys right over here, these are vintage G.I. Joe toys and, and Transformers toys, which are actually, you know, half the time, not really that bad. But I was on the lookout for a Marvel Legends Emma Frost figure, and I wanted the original Hasbro version because I think it's a beautiful piece, and I think it's quite gorgeous, and I really wanted that one in my collection. It's the only toy that I would actually ever pick up. And we got some loose figures right here, but but no Marvel Legends, Emma Frost. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other loose pieces of plastic garbage all over the place, and no the Emma Frost figure. So it's very disappointing, and I'm very upset right now. It's literally the worst toy show ever. Yeah, just got a bunch of trash all over the place. Even though, you know, some people will think, oh, no, okay, well, this is actually kind of cool right here. It's like some people really might think that it's kind of awesome right there. That's the only exception, but aside from that, everything else is a whole bunch of garbage. And then you got Funko Pops over here, which are actually kind of cool. Funko Pops are kind of neat, you know, if I, got, if I was actually going to buy something that wasn't the Emma Frost, I might get a bunch of Funko Pops. Yeah, Funko Pops are kind of awesome. So there you go, see? Oh, then they have a dinosaur right here, the Alberto story. Alberto is a Hispanic dinosaur. His name is Alberto Soros. And he's got original dino damage right there. But still not the same as the original, so it's a ripoff. And then they got all kinds of cool dinosaurs and everything right over there. And back in this place with all the Marvel Legends and everything. Yeah, this place is a whole scam. And this is the worst booth of all of them. This scumbag is trying to sell this plastic garbage all over the place. Oh, what an idiot. He thinks he can sell his toys. If you're going to sell something, sell something good. Don't sell a bunch of garbage. And can you believe this? He actually brought toilet paper. There's toilet paper here at a toy show. Why would you bring toilet paper at a toy show? It's all trash. All this stuff is trash. Especially all this stuff right here is actually garbage. Who wants to buy your merchandise? Just because you're on YouTube, you think you can sell merchandise? Sharpest Prime is a loser. I'm never coming back there again. Hey, new Sharpest Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.